Squash, growing squash is like Jack and the Beanstalk story. It just sprouts up so quickly and once it really gets going, it grows fast. It is now May 28th and uh, my squash is doing very, very well. I have, um, I planted two zucchini, tiniest of seedlings. This is a zucchini here. Um, and I had two seedlings growing out of one little two and a half inch container. And when I went to plant them, I planted the stronger one, but I couldn't bear to um, throw this one out. So I just stuck it in the ground, even though it didn't even have any true leaves on it yet. And now look at it. I transplanted all of these squash out on May 2nd. It's now May 28th. Oh, look, the very first little tiny squash flower is about to form. And that one is going to be, that's a female. That will turn into a squash. It always amazes me how quickly squash grow. This one is the first squash forming. Now, usually it's the male flowers that come out first. This was a female flower, and I'm not sure whether that is actually going to, uh, whether that's been germinated or not, because um, there were no other flowers blooming at the time. This zucchini is behaving more normally. Its first two flowers are the male flowers, so that will not be forming fruit. You can tell it's just a flower stalk, see? I don't think this one, oh yeah, this guy, this girl rather, this is a female flower stalk right there forming. You can see it's got a little mini squash behind it. So that, if everything goes well, that will turn into a zucchini very quickly. Well, the squash bugs have shown up in my garden as they always do. And I just do my regular once or twice a day routine. I inspect my leaves very, very carefully for any signs of squash bugs. Uh, these are the eggs that they have laid. And what I'm gonna do is just scrape them off with my fingernail. If these are born, if these hatch, then they begin immediately munching on your leaves. And these bugs will lay eggs constantly. So I'm just going to scratch them off with my fingernail and rub them in some water. Here are more of the seeds. I'm going to scrape them off with a little knife and I'm just going to drop them in some soapy water. I find that if I check my squash plants at least once a day, preferably twice, I can usually find the eggs before they hatch and I can often find the adults um, and I just take great pleasure in squishing them. You can also drop them into some soapy water. At this stage of the game, it's pretty easy to come out and do this. One thing I learned the hard way was to not grow too many squash. All right, so the first time that I gardened, my very first garden, I put in um, 11 squash plants, 11. 11 squash plants is way too many squash plants. And I put them in all at once, and so I was just overwhelmed with squash. And I was also overwhelmed with squash bugs, which I really didn't know anything about at that time. Um, and since then, I've, uh, I've lived and learned, I've learned that lesson pretty darn fast. If you're a family of three, that then sometimes, a few times a week, we'll feed six people, um, don't plant 11 squash plants. It's just way too many, just don't do it. There's some more right in there. I think I must have pulled those off last night, but missed a couple. If you do end up with ones that hatch, you will come out and you will find teeny tiny little gray bugs, little, running all over your leaves. And they are like a munching army. So thanks for watching today. I hope your garden is growing well. Take care. Happy gardening. Bye.